Hey everyone, Sam here. I just want to go into what I think is a, one of the one of the better additions of Power BI over, over the recent times, just in terms of just data discovery and ways that you can very quickly get insights into your into your data before, like before or maybe even during your development inside of Power BI, and that's the the, the DAX query editor, right? So DAX query view is what they're calling it now. It's obviously important because they've put it in the uh, left-hand side navigation, but I've been using it a lot lately and I'm going to just use some simple examples here, but it is, it is phenomenally good. It is, it is very quick as well. And so where would you use this one? I think this is great. I think this is great for initial data discovery, like, um, exploring your data, right? Sometimes we have big data sets. Maybe we want to look at very specific things. Well, we can do that inside of here. It's very much like how you would use SQL in the past, actually. And really all it's doing, by the way, all it's doing is it's using table functions. It's using table functions to explore your data. You could, you could actually always do this. You could always do this by um, like in, within here, you could have created a new table. This is actually how I used to, um, I've always taught to actually get more used to um, these particular, um, to, to get used to table functions inside of DAX is, is actually using the, um, the, the table area here. Sorry, it's actually in here. So you create a new table and you use, and you use uh, table functions to go and see what the tables are. But I think this is a much better UI. It's much I think, I think, yeah, just the, the, the way, the seamless way we can, we can work through different insights, I think is, is quite superior. Okay. Yeah? So there's actually a lot you can do here. I won't cover it all on this one. I really just want to make you aware of what's, of what's possible. Okay. So here, here was a simple example. So uh, this is a transportation data set that I created. I, I created it in, in um, chat GPT originally, and it has. It's, it's about transportation. So date of date of the travel route, bus ID, driver ID, start time, end time, passengers, so on and so forth. I created a few initial measures like so, right? I think nothing like core measures, I like to call them, nothing complicated at all, right? And I've created a little bit of analysis here, nothing, nothing fancy, but I can go in here and do a little bit of exploration without having to build a visualization um, or, you know, do anything too complex. One thing I will say though, one thing I will say is you need to understand table functions. So that is, that, that is very important. You know, no, nothing hides from that fact. And, but table functions are not that hard. And this is actually like, to be honest, this is the best way to learn table functions because you can see exactly what is actually happening in your function. Like when you write it out, right? This was always notoriously difficult notoriously difficult when you are trying to audit DAX formulas, but now you can do it actually in this, in this area here. Okay. So in this one filter, perfect table function to use, right? I'm just going to filter the transportation data. I want to look at all, I want to look at all passengers where the trips had over 50 passengers and the distance was over 47 kilometers or, 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 or miles, right? So it's basically these two particular columns here, but I've created measures. What I'll do first is I'll show you. Let's actually, let's actually just, I'll just show you how you can do. I mean, we could just bring the entire table in here if we wanted to. So let me, let me do that. I'll show you that first. And then we can, we can keep breaking it down bit by bit using filter. Okay. So let's, let's run that. Okay. So this gives me 10,000 rows. You see down the bottom here, 10,000 rows. That's the whole data set. Okay. So let's now delete that. Now let's see how more refined we can make this data set inside of here. Okay. So this is 298 rows. This is all the ones with passengers above 50 and the total distance is above um, 47. Okay. Now we can change, and this is, this, this was all, there's always been the power of table functions and DAX is we can rearrange these tables. However we like, however we like, I mean, we can, we can use add columns, select columns, calculate table filter, cross join, top in, we can use all of these tables functions within here, which is really, really powerful. Okay. So let's, let's do another example here. Okay. So evaluate top. in this case, I want to, I want to look at, I want to do some ranking. Okay. I want to see the top 10 in order 
in descending order of trips by total fuel used okay so i think total fuel is down the back here has so this is the top 10 trips by fuel okay we can change this around so maybe we want to do maybe we want to add here so check this out filter filter okay filter the top 10 trips but but i want to only look at the uh, ones where the weather conditions were equal to sunny okay okay so now i want to look at the top 10 but only for the ones that are sunny boom uh, it's, it's uh, I need to go, you know what I need to do? I need to go all here, all transportation data. Uh, actually, no, that's not what am I doing? What am I doing? It's, it's filtering by, it's filtering by the top 10. So I need to um, I need to, hold on a second. Ah, I need to, you know what I need to do? I need to actually put this filter inside of here, by the way. That's what I need to do. So filter, not outside, inside here. Filter that by that. Okay, so let's try it. Let's, let's give this a go. Okay, hold on. I haven't set it up right. Filter. That's what I need to do. Sorry. Now that's given me the top 10 where it was just sunny and then the, the, the total fuel. Okay. So these are just, these are just a few examples. Okay. But in terms of like auditing current formulas that are complex and also just, just general data exploration, I actually, I actually love this. I really, I really do. I really, I really love it. Okay. So let's do something. Let's go calculate table here. Okay. And then we'll go. Let's go, let's go values, month and year. Okay, month and year. And let's, I mean, we, we could actually do this a few ways, right? We don't even need, we don't even need to use calculate table. Just thinking about it, we could use add columns. Actually, let's, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's go add columns, table. I'm going to choose dates here. Okay. And then I'm going to choose values. Dates. And go months. Actually, no, I want to do values month and year. Okay. And then Let's go passengers, passengers. Okay, and we'll go run. Need to freshen up on my okay let's just let's just dumb it down a little bit here one second okay so look i i i've i've i'm doing some small things wrong there but any in any case in any case i think i'll i'll i'll, I'll start to round off here but 
give this a try. Give this a try. If you haven't used this, just give it a give it a give it a try. If you're not quite sure about some of the formulas, etc., to use that you could potentially use, use use um, get some get assistance with with um, either Copilot or Data Mentor that we've we've got ChatGPT. Get get assistance on how um, to use table functions and just get familiar with this area. That's what I, that's what I would suggest, right? It's 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 going to be um, it's going to really enhance your particularly particularly with more complex data sets. It's really going to enhance your understanding of the data, which I think is really really powerful. It's very much what 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 SQL developers have done for the last 20, 30 years, right? Like it's 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 exactly the same sort of thing. This is exactly what you do when you're writing SQL functions, SQL statements. So, you know, you can re, you're can really enhancing your data engineering skills, which is really, really positive in my view. Okay, I'm rounding off. Thanks all, and um, we'll catch you next time. See you later.